back to this month's episode of Training with Shane. This month we're going to be working on transitions. As you can see behind me, I've got two targets set up. We're working on driving the gun between each. Then we're going to move them apart and work on wider transitions. So in previous months, we've talked about grip and stance and recoil management. Both of them still apply to this drill. So one of the first things I want to do is I want to get my eyes moving from the first target to the next target. So as I call my second shot good, my eyes are going to move to my next target. Now, I don't want to just see the target. I want to pick a specific spot on that target to look at. So I call that second shot good. I find that specific spot, and then my gun is going to follow right to where my eyes are looking. So another thing with moving your eyes, you also don't want to use your upper body to transition. By only using my upper body, I feel like I'm a turret, and it can cause me to overswing or underswing my target. I don't have a lot of control or a lot of power behind the gun. So I really want to use my legs, my lower body, and my hips to really drive the gun to that next target. So I call that second shot, my eyes move, my hips drive the gun over. That gives me power and it gives me control to drive the gun where I want it to be. Now let's give it a shot. So as you can see, I got my eyes moving first and I really used my hips to drive that gun. Now let's widen out the targets. So as you can see behind me, I've widened up the targets. This is really going to help you focus on getting your eyes moving to the next target and using your legs and your hips to really drive that gun. Have to be aggressive getting that gun from one target to the other. So, using the short and wide transitions really helps you focus on getting your eyes moving first and using your legs and your hips to drive the gun. When you take this to the range, focus on those two fundamentals and progressively build your speed. Thank you for watching this month's episode of Train with Shane. Next month, we're going to incorporate some drills, transition near to far, and also bring in some steel. Thanks again for watching. Glock hopes you train hard and have fun.